So let's take a look at getting started with creating documents in Office 365. So make sure you go to Outlook.com and log in with your Windows, your Microsoft password. Um, and then you're going to click on this blue dot up here, this blue square, and you can pick Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. And I'll just go ahead and click Word. And then I'm giving a choice of templates. I could pick a template or I can just click on the new blank document, which is where most people will probably start. Once you're in your document, you can just start typing. And if you're familiar with Word, you'll notice all most of the items that you're used to. You can highlight things and click and drag, um, change it to different fonts. Um, you can insert pictures. These are pictures from your computer or pictures online, either ones that you have in your OneDrive, or you can use Bing to search for pictures on the internet and insert them. So I'll just insert a picture and I can search for uh, cats. And I search for cats, and when I find a picture of a cat that I like, I can put a check mark in it. Then I scroll down here, down to the bottom where it says insert, and it will insert that picture of the cat. Of course, it can be resized by clicking on the handles and everything like that. Now, these are copyright um, safe images that uh, Microsoft offers through Bing. All right, um, you'll notice that this is saving automatically to your OneDrive. You can click up here and change your document name. And it's showing you the path where it's saved. It's in the OneDrive in the Documents folder automatically. So I don't need to go to save or anything. Now let's say I want to share this with someone. I click on the sharing. And I could type a person's name here and it will email. But if they don't have a Microsoft account, that's probably not the best way. So I'm going to click on Get a Link. And I can say whether I want to allow this person to edit or view only. Okay. And then when I click on the Create Link, Here's my link. I would highlight this and copy it. Right click and copy or control C. Open up an email and paste that in there and tell the person a little information. I could say here's a link to all my photos or let's talk about the reunion. And then when they click on this link, then it will open up this item. And if I give them edit permissions, they can edit. Otherwise, they can just look at it. So um, now this is uh, called Cats, and I'm going to click up here to get to my OneDrive to go take a look at where it's stored. OneDrive is where everything is stored, and it said it was stored in my Documents folder. So I'll go into my Documents folder and scroll down past my folders and find my Cats document. Here it is, and you'll notice that this is where I could put a check mark here and I can delete it, I could download it, I could share it right from my OneDrive, and I could even move it to one of my folders if I so chose. So if I wanted it out of the Documents folder or in the Documents folder in my Car folder, I could click there and then say Move, and it would move it. So I select the folder and then click Move. There's another way to start a Word document or PowerPoint besides going here. I can actually be in my OneDrive and click New and say New PowerPoint or New Excel or OneNote or Word document. I can even create a survey here. So I can do lots of things right from the OneDrive without actually going to this item. So I hope that helped you get started creating documents and saving them in the OneDrive.